Good morning, Sweepy from Sweepy's Treks. I am out on a beautiful day in the park, and I just took a bike ride, but I am here to um, talk to you today about the most magnificent thing that has come into my life for hiking. <laughs> um, so, I don't know what everybody else does as far as cooking goes, but my mom and I, we made these pouches when we did the John Muir Trail. Um, they were made out of the sunshades, and um, sorry, there's stuff going on in the park. Um, they're made out of sunshades and duct tape. And what we do is we um, put our um, dehydrated food in a quart-sized freezer bag, and then all we have to do is water, um, boil water in our pot, and then pour the water into the quart bag, freezer bag and then we put it in these insulated pouches while it um, cooked and rehydrated. Um, that way you're using less fuel and then we ate directly out of these baggies. Um, so there's no, um, because you have the trash anyways, because you have to take it in something. And then you don't have dirty dishes and you're not having to um, wash your pot or your bowl or whatever because it's in it's in a baggie and you just put it in your trash bag. So we used these pouches, they worked great. Um, there was a couple of times that it took a little while for um, a little longer than we'd wanted for things like um, pasta and stuff like that. But for the most part, it worked out really well. But a captain at my work um, I was telling him about the pouches and I told him, oh, hey, I have some Reflectix left over in the RV. Um, I'll bring it to you and you can make your own pouches. And his brilliant mind was like, hey, the property room has a heat sealer. So he took it down to um, the property room. He made a template, took it down to the property room and he heat sealed the edges. And this is what he came up with. It is fantastic. Um, so it is heat sealed on two sides, this side and this side. So there's no seam on this side. And on the inside, there is this flap that folds over. So it's completely sealed inside there. There's heat is not going to escape very quickly. Um, so in the Velcro, I put that on um, with like, what is it, E3000, E6000? I can't remember the name of it, but that Velcro is not coming off. <laughs> um, let's just say that. So I wanted to test this. And the other morning I, I did, I before work, I went out and boiled some water on my camp stove or on my hiking stove. And I put it in some a dehydrated meal and stuck it, stuck it inside of this with a thermometer. And in, after five minutes of it being in here, I checked it and the thermometer read 160 degrees. So after 15 minutes, I had checked on it probably three or four times, which probably let out a lot of heat. So I checked it three or four times and at 15 minutes, it was 110 degrees. So I put it back in there and I let it sit for about, not about, I let it sit for 30 minutes. And without, uh, so 15 more minutes without opening it at all. And then when I went back in 15 minutes, it read 140 degrees after 30 minutes. I, there is nothing that you can want, could want to eat on trail that would take 30 minutes to cook. So, um, this worked really well. It, um, the food came out, it was so hot, I could hardly touch the bag. Um, so what we do when, uh, is we take the, the freezer bags and we put it over our, our cups and then we eat out of the baggie with the cup, um, out of the cup. So no mess. When, you, what, when you're done, you just throw it in the tra your trash bag and you're done for the day, for the night. And let's be honest, I don't want the smell of food around where I'm sleeping. So if you're cleaning um, your pot and your bowl where you're sleeping in the Sierras, 
no thank you. <laughs> um, so it worked out really well and I am, I have a, I have some gear that I need to replace because I've been, it's been about, what, five, six years since I was on the John Muir Trail. Um, and my bag is desperately in need of replacing, not my, not my pack, my sleeping bag. So, and I want to convert to a quilt and they are not cheap. So, any hikers out there who want one of these, I am going to sell them. I have a little Etsy shop. It's Sweet Peas Treks. Um, I will leave the link for you in debt in the description below. I'm just selling them for $10. Uh, there probably will be a few dollars uh, in shipping costs, but I'm I'm just gonna charge you what what I get charged for the shipping. So um, so go over there and I would appreciate the support and this thing is amazing. I cannot believe how how good it worked. <laughs> uh, so my mom actually I made my mom one of these also she starts her PCT her PCT hike next Saturday I can't even believe it it's a it's a week away I'm so excited for her I'm so nervous for her I'm so envious and jealous of her I want to do it so bad but just can't <laughs> just can't get that kind of time off work right now and and uh, you know there's just life things that that i just can't do it this year and, and my great or not my great and my grandbabies being born this in a less than a month so gotta be in montana for that so but go ahead and head over to my etsy shop in and, and um grab one of these amazing bags because you will not regret it so, Thank you for spending the time to watch my video and thank you for your support. If you want to see any more, any of my adventures on trail, I'm still working on my JMT videos, which, oh my gosh, it was like five, six years ago. I should have these done already, but I don't. And let's be honest, I just haven't done it. So if you're interested in watching any of our, um, our of the videos of my, my hikes and our backpacking trips, you can do so on this channel or you can go to my Facebook page, Sweet Peas Treks, or my Instagram. There's some stuff on Instagram, not much though. Um, I'm going to try to be better at doing that. So, but thank you.